Hi guys, this is the follow-up of uh, the fuel tank series of videos. Uh, I just spent about an hour and a half cleaning all the old paint off with uh, a knotted wire wheel on my DeWalt grinder. And no, I'm not plugging for DeWalt, but just I prefer their tools. Anyway, while I was drying the tank out in one of the last videos, I made mention that there was a, a weep at this end of the tank. And the filler neck is here, and it was just below the filler neck. Well, in cleaning it off, I found two small holes. I've already cut two really tiny pieces of 22 gauge steel. You can see there's a slight curve to it and I will put them concave down so that when I flow the solder in uh, it'll give kind of a cavity to fill so uh, let me set the camera down on something and we'll get this soldered up. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'll just move the small pieces of metal into place. And now again with the soldering, we want to get the work hot enough melt the solder. Otherwise, if I just put the solder in the flame, we're going to get a cold solder joint. Okay, that's all it takes. You can see it's pretty shiny. That's indicative, the shine is indicative of a nice hot solder joint. And then, like I mentioned before, all of that discoloration that you see is the flux washing the iron oxide away. So uh, there's another one, another leak at the other end of the tank. So uh, stand by.